Welcome back once again, everybody, to a brand new Cedar Flags episode. We are back at the back of the park once again, and we have to build a little train platform back here. So yes, this was a plan from a very, very, very long time ago. Uh, back when we first laid out our little railroad for the park, we always wanted that to go all the way through the park and then have another station at the back side of the park. So that's what we're finally getting around to doing. And yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. This is a very strange area down here. And you'll see as this takes shape and then as we move into the next project, what I'm talking about, uh, specifically, more or less, I'm talking about the pathing back here. It's really weird in the way that the path has to interact with the slope of the curve and then the elevated path of the station. It's a little weird, but we'll figure it out as we go. And yeah, so what we're doing is basically building a little station. It's not gonna be as elaborate as the first one was. This one is way more laid back and it's honestly not even a building. It's just gonna be more or less a covering and a small roof and maybe like a pavilion if you wanna call it that. And uh, we're adding a little bit of like a, a faux rail yard back here. Uh, we have a couple of these props and this is a little weird. Um, yeah, I wanted to put something back here just to take the space up to make it look like maybe there's a little bit of theming or something going on back here. But as you might be able to tell, the scenery train is like probably one and a half times as big, all, maybe even two times as big as the train on the railroad itself. So it's a little strange that it's a little mismatched. Um, as I was building this, my live chat over on Twitch was saying, maybe this was like an old train that used to run through this area, the region, and uh, we just have it here as like a historical piece. Maybe, I guess we could run with that idea. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little weird. I really wish they would give us just like the train from the actual uh, ride because you obviously they already have a model of it. You didn't really have to make a new one, but you know, whatever, I'm not designing the game. It's just kind of like a little gripe that I have. Um, but yeah, uh, you, you're kind of seeing now that there's a little bit of a, a weird thing that's happening with the pathing. And uh, it was it was frustrating at times. And uh, yeah, that was, it was pretty much the norm for Planet Coaster. There were, I, I wanted to try to get the path down to like ground level. At one point I was like, you know what, let's just keep it elevated and then take it down to ground level uh, at another point and it just it kind of worked and eventually we just left it kind of elevated back here so eventually i'm gonna have to figure out a way to transition it back to like on the ground but for now around here it's gonna look fine as long as we build it out in a productive and kind of interesting way and as we progress through this area it's going to be the challenge for us, but um, I do like that the the rail yard situation we have over here is taking up a little bit of space. It, it actually works out for the best um, because of the way the pathing is. We could have we actually slid that train a little bit forward to cover up one of the areas where the pathing just wasn't necessarily working out really good for us. And it, it ends up being pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's it's not too bad. It's a nice little thing to take up some space and uh, I'm happy about that. But we're moving on here to the pavilion that we're doing over the second station platform. And really it's not actually over the platform itself that much. It is clipping into it a little bit, but it's not uh, covering the train by any means, which I'm pretty sure is the way that train platforms are supposed to be. I don't think you really wanna enclose uh, trains like this, although that being said, I think some of the historical ones were enclosed, but I'm not a train expert, although apparently some of you guys out there are train experts, and I really appreciate that some of you guys show up to the live streams and can guide me through all of these, and I'll, I'll like say something, and you're like, actually, uh, this would do this, and I was like, you know what? I'm learning as I'm playing a video game, and this is awesome, but uh, yeah. Um, we're building a little bit of a pavilion thing here. It's a little interesting and I, I really could have just easily built just a normal little roof, but I wanted to make a little bit of an intricacy to it just to make it look like it's not just a couple roof pieces slapped together. So I, I went with this semi weird looking design uh, as a bracing piece for these roofs and it works out pretty well. It's 
it's cool. It's it's understated. It's not uh, in your face and just something that's like going to take your attention away. But if you look at it, you're like, oh, that's kind of ornate. It's kind of cool. So that's really what I was going for. Uh, we're using the same roof that we did for the new entrance of the park back here. So I did want to incorporate that in a little bit back here. So uh, that is one of the pieces. And then some of the wooden posts that I'm using for this build have been throughout the park. So I think this is really tying a lot of the different areas of the park together and it, it ends up looking pretty nice here. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, doing a little bit of terrain editing. And then uh, I really wanted to adapt this um, rail line a little bit. So as you see, I am working that a little bit. I still wanted the bridge to be fairly straight over the water, um, even though we're not like building a fancy looking bridge, but I wanted to bring that track a little bit closer, like the turn, I wanted to be right out of the station just so we could have a little bit more room um, later on. And the next build that we're gonna be doing is actually gonna be over there. I've pretty much almost completed that. And if you've been keeping up with the live streams over on Twitch, um, you'll know what we're building next. And we'll discuss that a little bit at the end of this episode here when we go into the live portion and uh, check out all this work. But um, yeah, the the link to my Twitch as always is down in the description of this video. Uh, I have a fairly not regular streaming schedule. Uh, if you couldn't tell from you know my upload schedule, um, I'm fairly inconsistent with that, but I've been trying to do more streams on weekdays or not, I've been trying to do more streams on weekends. Uh, guaranteed a stream on the weekend is what I'm shooting for. And then I'm trying to sprinkle in a little bit more streaming throughout the week as I uh, as I settle in with uh, my whole new job and all of that stuff. So it's, it's tough. It's really tough to keep up with the content, but I'm trying to get a concerted effort into putting out more stuff for you guys. It's just sometimes life gets in the way and it's unfortunate, but what can you do? Um, right now though, all we're doing is adding a little bit of a retaining wall. This was gonna be a really weird challenge down here. I really wanted to address the second half of this station down here. It's a little weird because the game by default gives us a, a two-part station, even if the riders are never gonna step onto the other side of that platform. So I really wanted to incorporate that into the design of this whole area a little bit and try to just cover that up a little bit to make it look like it's not just an unnecessary little platform over there. And uh, so we did that with this little retaining wall back here. And uh, it's, it's interesting because what we're gonna have to do is try to hide the entirety of that platform and to do that, we're gonna need to break out our good old fashioned friends, the rocks. So we'll get in there and we'll do that. But first, uh, I was just, as I was going through this and as I was building out that retaining wall, I found that curved piece and I was like, all right, maybe we could terminate this somehow with a curve. And then I, I curved it back. And then as I was sitting there looking at what I've just created, um, I, I mentioned, I think I was streaming at the time. I mentioned this would be a pretty good spot for a lighthouse. And of course, the live chat jumped all over it. Everybody wanted to see the lighthouse. So that's what we're gonna be doing here shortly. But right now we're just kind of finishing up all of the retaining wall here. So um, yeah, this was a, a bit of a thing where I was like, I'm gonna stream and finish up this build for this episode. And then partway through that stream, I was like, oh boy, I signed myself up for a bigger project than I thought it was gonna be which is fine, but I do that a lot. And I think uh, I, I, I like that that kind of packs in a little bit more content for you guys. So instead of just this one simple little station, you're actually getting something a little bit more concrete and uh, tangible in this episode, which is cool. But um, the lighthouse itself was a challenge. So uh, the biggest thing for me doing this lighthouse was the top. So it was really easy, as you can see, to get a cylindrical uh, building structure up. Um, not necessarily that it looked like a lighthouse, and we are actually going to do some pretty cool stuff with some lighting, even though we never really play this game at night. But the biggest challenge that I found was uh, the top, and this little uh, water tower base actually looked pretty good. I really had no other idea on how to make the top of a lighthouse look legit, so this was like perfect, but the problem with it was that it was so wide that we uh, we had to make just a little short lighthouse. 
and we're hiding the feet of this base down in the base that we've made out of the circular, I think, castle pieces. Um, it It's fine, but it just looked a little weird, and uh, a lot of people were making fun of it. It was a little... Uh, You'll see at the end of this, it's it, it's a little strange looking, but I think it's perfect for this area. It's not like we needed a large lighthouse anyway. It's just basically a cool, interesting little thing for the park to have as a scenery piece, but it does look a little silly at the end here, and uh, we'll get into that. But um, I, I really originally wanted to keep those circular uh, pieces from the castle set. It just didn't look as good as it really should have it looked more like a castle with a light on at the top and it was uh we we just even the people in the live chat were like this isn't cutting it so i took my <laughs> my best silverette impression here and i spun all of these pieces around and we make a little bit of a cool looking lighthouse. And the one thing about this is that there's no red stripe throughout the middle of it, which is fine. We just put the red up at the top and it's a little, uh, it's a little chunky. It's a chunky lighthouse. That's what we end up making here. All in all, I kind of like it. I like that it's just a little quaint in and of itself, but it could be taller, I guess. But like I said, the challenge was going to be that base. I love the top of that base. It's nice metal construction, rounded off, perfectly sized, I guess, for a lighthouse. It's just the fact that the feet on it just stuck so far out that we were kind of dictated how we could build this thing. So unfortunately, we're stuck with the proportions that we made, but uh, I, in, in the end, I do like it. It's kind of cool. And like I said, it's not an overpowering structure over here. It's something that if you're on the train ride, uh, you'll be able to see it. And if you're kind of around the park, you might be able to catch a glimpse of it. And it might be one of those optical illusions where it might look a little bit bigger from farther away just because you can't see the entirety of it. But no, moving on here, the last thing we really have to do is some nature work. And if you're familiar with the live stream, you'll know that we have an emote over on Twitch for the rocks that we placed down. Um, and yeah, it was it was going a lot in the chat as we were doing this. Um, we are just building basically a little bit of like a, a retained break wall, almost throwing a bunch of rocks around. This was a really big flashback for me back to like uh, City Skylines. Uh, I feel like I was doing this a lot in City Skylines was just placing like these giant rocks all across the coast. And it's really like New England feel, almost Maine maybe. I think I had somebody in the live chat that was from I, I want to say like Maine or, or one of those states way up there. And they were pretty much confirming that, yes, this is exactly kind of what those look like up there. So I was like, oh, cool. That's almost, I guess, what I was going for. I, I don't really know. The rocks look great over here. It's a really good way to separate the water from the station and give kind of a little bit of a boundary back here uh, because I really had no other idea what to do. I could have just put trees down. But since our lighthouse is so short, I didn't want the trees to embarrass the lighthouse. And it's really easy because a lot of the trees that are in the game are a little bit taller than that lighthouse. So it's a little sad, but, um, you know, whatever. Uh, if you guys want to, like, maybe name the lighthouse, go ahead in the comments below. Um, yeah, we could come up with some sort of name for the lighthouse. That'd be kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, I don't know. We're going around here doing a little bit more with the bushes and stuff, but that's pretty much it for this build. Let's go ahead and hop back on into the live portion and we'll check out what we just did in a little bit more detail. All right, guys, we are live over here in Cedar Flags and we're watching as a nice little train rolls by. Yes, this is what we did in this episode. And as you can tell, we have a long way to go. So I guess before we go into what we just did, um, the next video is actually going to be focused over here and we're going to be doing a little bit of a boat ride throughout the lake. This is one thing that I've been planning on for a long time. So it's another big step in the series, which will be really nice. I know this project is a bit of a, an annoying one. So uh, yeah, I've done a lot of the work already. So that's why I'm coming to you from the future uh, in a sense. So anyway, uh, yeah, what we did though is build this quaint little lighthouse here. And uh, yeah, it's a, 
It's not the tallest lighthouse, as you can tell. Most lighthouses are probably a bit taller, but for the park, it's not that bad. Um, we'll go into night mode uh, by the end of this, uh, hopefully, and I'll show you guys the lights in action. But yeah, this is a very, very simple little station down here for our train. And as you're walking from the entrance, you notice that there's, well, a, a lighthouse. And like I said, it looks like it could be way taller from over here because you can't see where it ends. Um, you're also going to notice a train. So you're going to come down here and be like, oh, what is this? So you'll look at the train and be like, oh, that's a historic uh, little train. Cool. And then you can hop on the train and then you can go ahead and take the ride all the way through the park to the basically the other side. So if you start at that entrance, you can get to this one fairly easily and then go throughout the park and work your way back that way. Or if you start at this entrance, you can hop on the train, get to the back of the park and then work your way back through it. Usually that's what I do when I go to amusement parks. So um, I guess everybody might do that differently, but whatever. So, yep, this is the build. I love the coastline over here and I am dangerously close to wanting to do a lot more rock stuff around the coastline and I have to really tell myself not to. I love this look. I like that it, it really defines like the edge of this lake a lot better than just having the water end. But just all of these rocks are, they cannot be good for the performance of the game. So I really have to try to tell myself not to just go overboard with the rocks. But um, you know, you'll never know with me, I might go ahead and end up doing it anyway. But no, I don't know. Um, this I think is pretty much it for this episode. Like I said, the next one, we're gonna be over in the boat area. So it's going to be kind of interesting. We're going to have the boats and the train two transport type rides right next to each other. Uh, but I did promise that we'll go into night mode here real quick and check out that lighthouse. I love how this works over here. It actually looks like a lighthouse. The they're kind of out of sync right now. When I first set these up, they were kind of going at the same pace and it looked like the light was actually going around. So that was kind of nice. I also don't really <laughs> I don't feel jealous for the people who are in these rooms over here because uh, the light would just be shining right into your room the entire night. But maybe we'll turn that side at least off uh, as a park operator, I guess, to spare the people who spent their hard earned money on that. But that's just about going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up this episode if you liked it. Thumbs down if you disliked it. Uh, if you want to name the lighthouse, go ahead and give it a name down in the comments and maybe we'll go ahead and throw some sort of sign on the lighthouse in a future episode. But that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode back here in Cedar Flags.